Hello and welcome to episode 24 of my Working with Evernote series. In this episode, I want to show you how you can duplicate a note and why it might be actually useful. Now, let's get into the useful part. Um, I do a lot of presentations uh, for many of my clients and I do also do a lot of workshops. And I don't always carry with me my cables for my computer so that I can do the presentation. Um, I use a MacBook Pro and I need to use uh, a VGA adapter or as I've got written in here a projector adap adapter. Uh, sometimes when I'm visiting a client they have a uh, large screen television so I always carry my HDMI cable with me so that I can connect to that. Um, <clears throat> I also need to remember my presenter remote and also that I have spare batteries for my presenter remote particularly if it's going to be an all-day workshop. I also carry a spare copy of my uh, presentation file on a USB stick simply because some you just never know if your computer broke down or something went wrong. Uh, you could quickly switch to another computer and also I need to make sure that I have my handouts with me. And in this particular example here, I've got Check Venue has speakers because I use a lot of multimedia video files, audio files in my presentation file. Therefore, it's very, very important that I, the venue that I am doing the presentation or the workshop does have speakers. So uh, this is my presentation preparation checklist. This is just a sample that I created earlier. And what I wanted to do is just show you that as you go through this, you could be preparing for your presentation and you're checking these items off as you get them like this. And <clears throat> that's all done. Now, of course, if you wish, you could just uncheck them uh, and that's fine. I mean, there's no problem there. Um, that's one way of doing it. So once you've checked everything, you've got everything in your bag and you're ready to leave, you can just uncheck them ready for the next time. Or alternatively, you can go into, I believe it's uh, note here, and you will see go down to the middle, just down towards the bottom, and it says here duplicate note. So let's just duplicate the note. And now I have presentation uh, preparation checklist copy. So let's take the original one here, and I can now delete that, for example, and I'm now left with that. What I would do if I was doing this method, I would actually... I just realized that I can't spell list. Um, so what I would do is just remove the copy. And sure enough, I now have a spare one. Now, for those of you who want to keep checklists in your Evernote, what I would strongly recommend you do is you create a, a notebook uh, which would actually have and title that checklists. You can do it as a, an embedded, um, a nested notebook in your business or wherever. Um, but it's just one of those things that I would recommend that you do just because then you can keep all your checklists in one place. Now, I don't do a, a lot of traveling abroad, so I don't really have a checklist for uh, traveling. But should I do so, I would keep that in a dedicated notebook for checklists so that I can pull them up ready to go for wherever I am going. Now, the presentation preparation checklist is something that I do use. Uh, this gets modified from time to time. Uh, I haven't quite moved to an iPad presentation situation yet, but as the iPad continues to improve, for example, maybe one day I will be doing presentations by iPad and I will create a separate presentation preparation checklist for that. But there's one, just one that you could use. Uh, you could even make it an even bigger one. And just to give you an idea, um, if you're following my system, which has your uh, current project stack, for example, here, um, so I have a current project stack. Now, if I was to um, create a, uh, a project for a presentation, then I would move the checklist or copy of the checklist into it and rename the checklist for that particular presentation. Then what I probably would do is just add other things that I want to check in there, which is, for example, confirm time, uh, confirm location of venue, I maybe add a map to the uh, to the bottom of this. So there's many things you can do with these checklists. You can add details to it. You can add whatever you want. Really, really good way of keeping checklists and particularly checklists that you use often in one place in Evernote.
Okay, I hope you found this episode, episode 24, useful. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more uh, hints and tips and tricks for Evernote or indeed Todoist. And also please don't forget to uh, join our uh, Productivity in Tech Facebook page. Uh, we've gone over, just gone over 200 uh, members now. Lots of ideas in there, people sharing their ideas and, and asking questions and maybe we can all work together to make ourselves even more productive. So once again, thanks for joining me in this episode. Don't forget to join me again in the next episode. And for the rest of it, for all of you, I just wish you all a very, very productive week.